my friend, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting, I would say like quick, tricky and relaxing algebra question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 4 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 4 and we need to get it down to 1 value. Right here we have three options, option A, option B, option C. So right now you can easily test your school knowledge, test your algebra skills and you can easily pause the video and write your solution in two or three lines and we can easily check our answers in the end, in the end of the video. So here's our question you can easily see this question in the middle of the screen and a lot of students might be saying okay we have 4 minus 4 right here so this is equal to 0 we have 4 minus 4 right here equal to 0 as well so maybe with this division in the middle so we gonna divide left side to right side so 0 divided by 0 maybe a lot of students say that 0 is a correct answer we have this option uh, this is option a and you know what makes all the difference in the world if the order we do this problem okay so do we do like subtraction first do we do like division first or do we do this subtraction first it, okay it turns into a big argument because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right and in terms of math it's not a good thing to to write to solve this question with two different answers like minus one is a correct answer zero is a correct answer we need to get this down to one value and right now let's look closely what do we have we have subtraction in our question we have division and we have we have subtraction and you know in most in most cases we will have uh, like addition we will have multiplication maybe sometimes we will have parentheses maybe we will have like powers like two to the power five for example yeah and you know we need to know how can we order all of this stuff so we know we need to we need to order it in terms of priority so we can easily say what if the what elements had the higher priority which elements had the lower priority okay so right now let's look closely and learn a little bit about order of operation which is extremely important part in our question so here's our order of operation this order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation but of course it just depending on what country you live in for example if you live in the UK in India you know about BODMAS but this is absolutely the same thing so we can put this equal sign right here because this is absolutely the same order of operation it just depends on the letter right here because each of these letters stand for for the same meaning okay so right now let's look closely at this pandas order of operation this pandas is mainly used in the usa in canada in europe and in, in a lot of countries a lot of calculators works according to according to this pandas order of operation operator okay okay so right now let's try to learn a little bit about this pandas this is like a quick checklist so each of these letters stands for something and i'm going to start with this left side because on the left side we have higher priority so it means that we should evaluate the expression uh, with uh, according to this uh, left steps at first okay so first of all letter p letter p stands for parentheses these type of squiggly brackets sometimes you know these type of brackets you know group and symbol so the first thing we need to evaluate the expression in terms of like group and symbol and right now let's scan our question let's look closely where do we have group and symbol in our question i don't see any of those we don't have any parentheses so we can just actually skip this part we don't have any of those and we go to the next step the next step after parentheses is exponents so we need to find where do we have exponents but what do you mean exponents this is the basic power so don't be scared about it for example 2 to the power 5 3 to the power 5 we need to we need to like find these powers for example if we had like four square then we need to like uh, we need to mention that we have exponents and we need to evaluate this four square at first in our case we don't have four squares we don't have four cubes we don't have any of those so we can actually skip this part we don't have we don't have exponents really great right now we go to the next step the next step is a little bit like complicated a lot of students confused because of this step because uh, we have multiplication m stands for multiplication d stands for division and you know it means it looks like it means that we need to multiply at first because m comes first from left to right uh, and you know it's it's really interesting moment because multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance okay so we have multiplication and division have the same at uh, the same priority or importance so it means that if we have for example uh, 2 times 2 divided by 2 we need to perform multiplication first because it comes first from left to right but when we have 2 divided by 2 for example times 3 whenever we have like a, a, a mixture of multiplication division right here okay we have multiplication division right here so then multiplication first we need to put like imaginary brackets in our head because this multiplication comes first from left to right in this case we have division multiplication mixture so a lot of students maybe say maybe we need to multiply two times three but we need to perform 
or we need to scan what is the first sign from left right and in this case division is the first sign from left right so we need to right here multiply it first so we have 4 divided by 2 and right here we will have 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 1 times 3 I don't want to simplify it because this is like a quick example this is like the meaning why we need to perform multiplication first in multiplication division mixture and division first in division multiplication mixture so right now let's scan what do we have in our question so we have multiplication and we have division right now let's scan where do we have it we don't have multiplication sign, so we can actually skip this part. We don't have multiplication sign. What about division sign? Yeah, we have division sign, but this division sign we're going to apply only to these two values. So we're going to apply to this four and to this four. We can't apply it to the left side. We can't divide it by the whole uh, left side by the by the right one. Okay, I really hope you understand. I really hope you get the point. So we can't divide left side by the right one. We apply this division only to these both numbers, to these 4 and to these 4. So as a result, our first step is to divide 4 divided by 4. Let's do this. So I'm going to underline this D with the green color. It means that we have this division sign. So our first step is to evaluate the ex expression with this division sign. As a result, what do we have? We have the same beginning. So 4 minus 4 divided by 4 equal to 1. And we have minus minus 4. So our first step is is division we completed and right now we don't have parentheses exponent multiplication we complete this division part so our last step so in conclusion we have addition and subtraction this is also one group because we are talking about addition and subtraction we need to uh, evaluate it in uh, terms of group because uh, it has the same priority or importance a stands for addition s stands for subtraction but in 99 percent of cases when you have like Whenever we have expression with only addition subtraction, 99% uh, of students like don't need this order of operation anymore because we can easily evaluate it. We can easily, we can easily simplify it. Okay, so as a result, we can easily do this without any problems. We don't have right here addition signs. We have. I'm going to underline it with the green color. We have subtraction signs. So we have only division, only subtraction. Let's do this. So as a result, we have four minus one. We have three. So let's solve it in a strict order from left to right. For example, four minus one equal to three, and we have three. Mm, three minus four equal to minus minus one. And of course, there's like another great interpretation. How can we solve it? Like a special case. I'm going to underline it with the green color. So as a result, right here we have. 4 minus 1 minus 4. As a result, we can easily cancel 4 from the left side and 4 on the right side. As a result, we have only our minus 1. This is like a quick, quick algebra, quick algebra, algebra trick. So this is our solution to our question. So among all these mathematical operators, we have only division, only subtraction. Division comes first from left to right because we are talking about priority. So it means that letter D is the first from left to right. So saying in, in other words, I'm going to underline it. I want, I'm going to put it out there. So whenever we have expression with addition, uh, let me change my pen real quick with the, with the blue one, for example. Whenever we have addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, so this is like a basic mixture without parentheses, without exponents. So we need to evaluate this expression with multiplication division first. Okay, multiplication division first. And then after this, we need to evaluate this expression with addition and, and subtraction. So multiplication division has the higher priority than addition uh, than addition and sub, uh, uh, subtraction. Okay, so first of all, we need to find all these division multiplication signs and then addition and subtraction. So if we look closely, the first step is to evaluate this division, 4 divided by 4, and the next step is, is subtraction, which is extremely great. I really hope you get the point. I really hope you understand my explanation. But right now, let's go back in the beginning. I'm going to show you a really interesting hints, a really interesting really interesting tricks. Uh, in the beginning, uh, we just uh, subtracted first 4 minus 4 and then we subtract 4 minus 4, sorry, yeah? So we subtract right here 4 minus 4 and we subtract right here 4 minus 4 on the right side. And a lot of students might be asking, okay, why this approach is wrong? As I said before, subtraction is all the time after division, but there's one really interesting tricky moment. So when we considered it as a group, so when we group it on the left side and when we group it on the right side, 
it's really a great moment because right now we consider it as a, as a subtraction inside parentheses. So then parentheses has the higher priority, so we have zero. And then this parentheses has zero. So as a result, we have zero divided by zero. Of course, this is undefined. We don't know the answer because we divided by zero. In terms of mathematics, we can't. We don't know what is the answer, like infinity or zero or undefined. So we don't know about this division. But you, if you can, you can easily solve this question like that with parentheses. With parentheses right here, everything is absolutely great. In our case, we don't have parentheses. So just forget about this zero, which is absolutely absolutely wrong answer so let me just erase all of this stuff because uh, i don't want you don't like don't be confused about it because uh, this is a wrong a wrong answer in our case as i said before correct answer is is minus one because we solved it according to a correct order of operation and you should be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely correct you need to review a little bit about your basic math when you solve this question like that and when you solve this question and said the correct answer is is minus four you need to review a little bit your basic math in our case correct answer is minus one but well, i'm going to show you one really interesting trick because in terms of math it's really great to know about addition because when we have like four on the left side and when we have minus four on the right side so we have four and we have minus four on the on the on the right side so as a result we subtract these four with this one so we can easily cancel these and as a result we have only minus four divided by four which is equal to which is equal to minus one so there's like a quick algebra trick this is like the first trick extremely great for us right here i show you a second really interesting trick we can easily subtract it at this point with this division when we complete it and just a result i hope you i hope you get the point and i hope you understand why correct answer is why correct answer is uh, minus one and you know maybe sometimes a lot of students try to plug in this question in a, in a calculator but you know uh, i'm going to show you a really interesting tricky moment right now because for example you plug in this question on your calculator you're like i have a calculator <clears throat> and you for example type in four minus four okay four minus four and you know sometimes calculators uh, give you gives you an uh, answer okay so four minus four they say okay zero and why calculators write the thing like that? Because the calculator doesn't know what we have further. Your calculator doesn't know about the whole entire problem. Because, for example, you plug in 4 minus 4, we have 0. And then you say, okay, I still have this division by 4, and I still have minus 4. So as a result, your calculator says, okay, division by 4 equal to 0, and minus 4 equal to minus four so with this approach a lot of students might be confused when we solve it from the left to right order and we don't care about order of operation and of course when plugging this expression in our calculator sometimes happen that minus four will be correct answer it's it happens sometimes that you solve this question your calculator doesn't know what we have in your question but what we can do with this with this uh, tricky move we can easily plug in the whole question from left to write order so don't plug in 4 minus 4 in the beginning don't plug in this try to plug in the whole question and then okay i say okay i'm gonna plug in 4 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 4 plug in the whole question from left to right okay and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation okay and then your calculator say okay right here i have subtraction i have division i have subtraction i know that division comes first from left from left to right so as a result a correct answer will be minus one 100 percent this is like a tricky moment because a lot of students may be saying hey mr you solved this question absolutely wrong i just plug in it in my calculator and correct answer is minus four i solve it in a strict order from left to right or i plug in it in my calculator i have four minus four zero then zero divided by four so you know i'm talking about a strict order from left to right then your calculator is uh, we solve this question in strict order from left to right not like the whole question which is correct approach to plug in the whole question but the calculator say okay 4 minus 4 equal to 0 0 divided by 4 equal to 0 0 minus 4 equal to minus 4 and we have this this option c you know it's is really bad bad mistake so few hints to this question whenever you have expression with multiplication division addition subtraction evaluate division multiplication group at first and then addition and subtraction but basically just learn about PEMDAS word of operation, the first thing, and the second thing, if you want to check it on your calculator, try to plug in the whole question uh, from left uh, from left to right because then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation, then your calculator say, okay, I have a subtraction, 
I have division, I have subtraction. So I know how can we order all of this stuff. And it's not works only with these simple cases. You can easily like have parentheses, exponents, powers, just, just plug in the whole question from left side, from left side to right side, and everything, <clears throat> everything will be okay. So I really hope you get the point. I really hope you understand my explanation. This is not that hard question, but I really hope you, you understand a few tricky moves and I really hope you get Get the point. I really hope you understand why minus one is a correct answer, when minus four is a correct answer, when zero is a correct answer. But in our case, we need to review a little bit your basic math when you choose this answer zero is in minus four, which is absolutely wrong answer nowadays. So thank you for your time. Once more, you can see this PEMDAS order of operation. Once more, you can see this quick uh, explanation. And I really hope you understand it. I really hope you enjoy it. Here is uh, like a few special cases and the correct answer to this question. So I really hope this video is helpful for you i really hope you enjoy it so take care of yourself have a great day also write your thoughts write your notes write your response down into the comment section it's really great for me to see you respond and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos